so now we will see float and clear properties in css so guys basically the float property is used for positioning and formatting the content inside the html web page and this we are going to check with the help of examples as well so a very simple example as far as the usage of the float property is concerned is an example in order to let an image float left to the text in a container so guys basically we will create a container with the div tag and inside the div tag we will have the image that will be displayed either on the left or the right of the container and we will display the text accordingly besides the image which is present inside the container now guys the float property can have one of the following values so basically we will see the left value in which case the element floats to the left of its container when we use the right value the element floats to the right of its container and when the value is none the element does not float it will be displayed just where it occurs in the text and this is the default behavior and when we use the inherit option basically the element inherits the float value from its parent tag over here now guys let us move to the vs code and i'll simply remove the previous lines of code that we had written in the html and the style.css files over here now guys in order to understand the example of the float property we will have the dev tag with the class container over here so guys basically we will define the dev tag with the class container and inside this let us say we have the image so simply we are going to provide the img tag over here and the src attribute will have the sample image.png file in this case which we already have in our directory over here now guys apart from this we will also have the alternate text test, test image in this case and then over here we will provide the width of 150 pixels and let's say the height of 100 pixels so that the image is properly displayed inside this container and then guys apart from this let us have some random text over here inside the container so we use the lorem emmet abbreviation over here so guys we have generated the random text as well let me just save this file now and let us see how this particular image and the text will be displayed inside the div tag with the class container on the web page so let me just reload this page over here on the browser so as you can see by default we don't have any float property that is provided in the css file and the float property is set to none and this is the way that the image is getting displayed over here inside the container and to the right of this particular image we are having the text that is the random text that we have generated now guys let us say we want this text to be displayed exactly to the right of this particular image and without wasting this particular space that you can see which is a blank space over here so what we can do is simply we can say that this particular image tag should have the float property as left so what we will do is over here in the style.css file we will say image tag in this case and over here we will say float property for which the value should be left in this case let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so now as you can see the image is set to the left of this particular div container over here let us provide certain border and the background color as well for the div container so simply we are going to copy this class name and use it inside the style.css file so we use the dot character for the class name and then we will provide the css property so let's say we provide the background color as aqua over here and also we will provide certain border as well so let's say we provide the border of two pixels which is of the type solid and the color as black so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see we have the image that is floating to the left of this particular container and the text is getting displayed to the right of this particular image and in this way we can easily use the float property in order to position a specific image or any other html element inside the container now guys let us say we want this particular image to be displayed on the right so what we can do is instead of providing the value as left we can simply say right over here so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see we have the image that is getting displayed on the right of this container now let us provide certain padding as well to the container so that 
it looks more decent so let me just provide the padding property of let's say 5 pixels in this case so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again so as you can see we have the 5 pixels padding that is being provided inside the container and in this way based on your project requirements you can use the float property over here now guys apart from this we also have the other value that is inherit in which case the image will inherit the float property from its parent so over here the parent is the diff tag in this case so guys let us check that as well so what we will do is let's say we provide the float property as inherit over here so by default the float property for the parent that is the container class is none in this case so the way the ui was displayed by default initially the same way the changes will be provided on the web page right now so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see we have this particular image and the text is getting displayed on the right of the image but we still have the spaces on top of this text which we don't want to waste so guys what we can do is since we are inheriting the value of load over here and the parent of this image is the div tag in this case which is having the class container we can provide the float property to this container as well so over here let's say we provide the float property and we can decide where we want to display the image so let's say we want to display this image on the right hand side so simply we will say right in this case so basically this float is equal to right will be in inherited by this particular image tag over here since we have provided the float is equal to inherit value over here let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see we have the float is equal to right that is in action now guys when we provide the float is equal to left and now we are inheriting this value in the image tag so basically the image will be displayed on the left so let me just reload this page the image is getting displayed on the left of the container so guys based on your requirement you can provide the float property over here so guys in its very simple use the float property can be used to wrap the text around the images which we have seen with the help of examples as well now guys as a homework for you you can complete this example you can create three div elements and place them next to each other by using the float property which should be equal to left and comment in the comment section below once you have completed this homework now guys apart from this we also have the clear property as well so when we use the float property and we want the next element below not on the right or the left so we will have to use the clear property so guys whenever we are using the float property we will have to clear it by using the clear property as well now the clear property specifies what should happen with the element that is next to the floating element and this we are going to check with the help of examples as well so the clear property has the value that is none by default in which case the element is not pushed below left or right floated elements apart from this we also have the left value in which case the element is pushed below left floated elements in the right value the element is pushed below right floated elements and by using the both value the element is pushed below both left and right floated elements and we also have the inherit value as well so the element inherits the clear value from its parent so guys let us check this with the help of examples in vs code over here so simply i'm going to remove the previous lines of code in this case from the html and the css files over here and then guys what we will do is we will take this example that i have just mentioned that is to display the div elements next to each other over here so guys what we will do is first of all we will have the container tag over here so we have the class name that is container in this case and let's say we have the three div elements so first div element will have the id that is div1 over here and it will have the text that is div1 and then similarly we will have div2 and div3 over here so guys over here we have defined the three div tags with the ids that is div1 div2 and div3 inside the class that is container now guys what we will do is inside the style.css file we will give separate background colors for all the div tags over here so first of all we will define the id that is div1 and let's say we have the background color of aqua and then let's say we have the div2 id over here and this time we will give the background color so basically we will use the color that is yellow this time and for the third div let's say we use the div3 id and this time we will use the background color property and let's say the color that we provide is coral this time so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser 
so as you can see we have the div 1 div 2 and div 3 is getting displayed right now we don't have the background color for div 3 let us check why so so basically we have made a mistake over here so instead of div 3 we had provided div hash which is not correct let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see we have the background colors for all the div tags right now now guys in order to get all these div elements next to each other simply we can use the float property over here so in the style.css file for all these div tag elements we are going to use the div tag this time and simply inside this div tag we are going to use the float property and for this we are going to use the value that is left over here let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see all the div elements now are floating to the left now guys let us provide certain padding as well so over here we will say padding of 5 pixels for all the div elements over here let me just save this file now and try reloading this page so as you can see now it is having a better readability so all the div elements are placed next to each other and that is the important thing so guys basically just by using the float property over here we can have all the elements that are being placed next to each other so let's provide the float value for the div tag that is having the id div 1 over here and we provide the value as left and from this div tag i am going to comment out this particular float property let me just save this file now and see what will happen over here to this particular div that is div 1 let me just reload this page once again so as you can see we have div 1 element over here but to the right of this div 1 we again have div 2 this time so guys we have not provided any float property over here to div 2 element but still it is to the right of the div 1 so in order to clear this particular property of float that we had provided to div 1 we need to use this clear property that we have just mentioned so guys what we will do is for this div2 id we will simply say clear and then we will say left in this case so guys what will happen is this div2 should come below of this div1 element so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see we have cleared the float property by using the clear property over here and now this particular div2 is getting displayed below the div1 element so guys in this way whatever next element is present inside the html file we have provided the float property to div1 but if we want the next element that is div2 to be present on the next line we have to provide the clear property for this div2 element over here and that is what we have mentioned inside the style.css file that is clear it is equal to left guys apart from this you can also try the other values of the clear property as a homework for you so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is an exercise on z index overflow float and clear properties in css so stay tuned